Creature comforts. Yeah. Just what I think of when I think of comfort. An axe. Boy, doesn't an axe make everybody comfortable? Don't you all just want to chill out and hold an axe? It just puts everybody at ease when an axe is involved. <laughs> uh, this is a game where you're playing as a family of critters and you are doing worker placement stuff and you are trying to get out there and build some comforts with the uh, resources that you get. Oh man, what an insert though! Hell yeah! I love a good insert. Look at all those. We got all this cool stuff in here. I don't even... Oh, it's a worm! It's a worm, and you can put the worm on your wagon. Oh, man, I'm actually... This is like one of those games where I was like, yeah, this seems fun, and now I'm so much more excited about it just by looking at what's in the box. I love a good insert, too. Oh, man, this is exciting. Well, you know what? Maybe I am going to be comfortable with an axe. I wouldn't have thought it, but this is convincing me. Voices in my head from Unexpected Games. This um, is the follow-up. Unexpected Games is a new company from longtime designer Corey Kanezka. Um, and their first game last year was The Initiative. And this is now their new game. And I love, love, love the theme of this. In the game, one person plays as the prosecutor and one person plays as this person named Guy, ho ho, big stretch there. This guy is named Guy, but you are not playing as Guy. You are playing as the voices in his head that are trying to convince him to lie or tell the truth or be extra shady or things like that. Uh, and so, you know, it, it, it's, it's, like a, it's like inside out, but for a bad guy, you know? Instead of the Disney version, this is the, uh, the adult version of Inside Out. So yeah, look, in, in, the, in the, the board is just his head. <laughs> you wanna play a game where you get inside somebody's head? Well, in this game, you literally get inside of his head, okay? You get to learn about this guy. This is a, this is a courtroom drama, but it's a fun, interesting twist on the courtroom drama. You might ask, like, well, if you're playing as the voices in his head, how do you win? Well, everybody gets a, a secret objective at the beginning of the game, so it's actually a competitive game, even amongst the voices in Guy's head. Which voice is going to win out, you know? Honesty, truthfulness, anger, I don't know. Anger's pretty hard to beat. <sighs> As gamers, we sometimes have games on our wish list for years, you know? There's just so many games coming out all the time, you can't play them all, and something will just sit on your wish list for years as you play other things, but you still think about that game, because you wanted it, and you still want it. Well, I'm happy to say, I got one of those games that's been on my wish list for years. Obscurio! Yeah! I'm excited. I got this as a gift, and it's finally off my wish list. I wanted Obscurio for years because one of my favorite games of all time is Mysterium. I just, I love the like cooperative nature and the interesting way you have to think about how other people view art and, and the way they think and stuff like that. You know, a clue is only good if it's good for that specific person and how they think. Well, Obscurio is a game sort of like Mysterium, but it mixes a hidden traitor into the mix. So yes, you are cooperatively trying to get out of this magical library, but somebody might be playing these like cards that don't make any sense because they're trying to throw people off of your track. And ooh, that sounds so intriguing to me. So many books. So many books in this library. It's like a rich doctor's personal house library, you know? Yeah, so if you, look at this, so there's different, this has the same sort of like cool artwork cards that Mysterium does and Dixit does, but in this game, they're circular. Ho ho, we're really thinking outside the box here, Obscurio. You got circular cards? What? You crazy. Nobody does circular cards. Well, we do. Okay, okay, you got me intrigued. I want to see how you go pull off these circular cards. This is Now or Never from Red Raven Games. Uh, this is the third game uh, in a line of games set in the same world. 
The other two games were uh, above and below and near and far, and now we have now or never. Uh, so, you know, I'm pretty sure the next games in this line of games are going to be this and that, or how about here and there, or maybe big and tall. We got so many options for next games in the line. Uh, I loved Near and Far, and Near and Far was a worker placement game, and this is not a worker placement game. Don't you try to place some workers here. You take your workers elsewhere. This is a game that is focused more on uh, combat and resource building and things like that. So there's a lot going on here, and it's all very beautiful. You want to be jealous of somebody, you know, in the board game industry? I'll tell you. You know who to be jealous of? Is Ryan Lockett. Because not only does Ryan run this company, design these games, but he also does all of the artwork. How can you be good at all of those? I think that's not fair, sir. Leave some talent for the rest of us. We'd all like to do things too. You're doing everything? How? How can you do everything? So, yeah, a lot going on in this game. We're going to punch some stuff out starting now. Boom! <laughs> Look at that. That guy didn't know it coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tiny Epic Dungeons! This is the new game in the Tiny Epic series from Gamelin Games. These are small games with a bunch of big strategy. They're games that feel bigger than they actually are. So you can see how small the game is. Oh, or can you? You can't see it anymore. You can't see the game. That's how small it is. <gasps> oh, this is board game magic here. <laughs> There's the game. Now it's gone. There. Oh, where is it? Oh, my God. Board game magic. This is, uh, this is like a dungeon crawl game in just this tiny little box. Oh, look at it. They even happen to squeeze some dope miniatures in here. Uh, and, you know. Yeah, would you think a box this small has cool miniatures? No. No, you wouldn't. I'm answering that for you. You would not, your mind is blown right now in a good way. You're watching this video like, wow, that's so cool. And you're right. You are right to have that reaction. All right. Yeah. So this is a dungeon crawl game in a small box. <gasps> but this is not all I got because Tiny Epic Dungeons also has a expansion stories right here. Ooh, we're going to tell some stories about the time we were in the little Tiny Epic Dungeon. Huh? Cut, get open here. Yeah, so this is a little, a perilous expansion. Ooh, it's so dangerous. So this adds more miniatures! Your mind is blown even more now! This is an even smaller box that includes miniatures. And we also got the official game mat and the uh, also the other official game mat and we got extra dice and extra stuff and a, and a dice tray and this is this is supposed to be a small game that is no longer small with all this content it is not small this is this is more epic than i was even imagining tiny epic dungeons with expansions and extra content dun 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 we're gonna get in that dungeon dog Big Easy Busking from Weird Giraffe Games. Uh, this is a game about busking, or as I like to call it, outdoor karaoke. Have you ever walked by people singing stuff on the street? Well, that's busking. Outdoor karaoke. Uh, I love the art style of this, though, man. This is a game, you know, that really tries to capture the spirit of New Orleans. And I think one of the ways that they do that well is through this vibrant artwork. Because if there is any city that can be called vibrant, well, I think New Orleans takes the cake on that. Or, ooh, look, even the cubes have like the nice color scheme. All right, you want some vibrant colors, then check out Big Easy Busking. I'm excited to get into this one. I also love New Orleans. Boy, there's not much more of a fun city than New Orleans, you know? And it's fun for so You can live so many different versions of yourself in New Orleans. You can be the drunk party guy. You can be the cultured music guy. You can be the foodie. You can be the, You can be anything you want to be in New Orleans. This video has just turned into an advertisement for the city of New Orleans. If you haven't been to New Orleans, you should go. They're taking tourists now. Check it out.